So we're here at Bloom Festival. I've just met a bunch of people. Where are you all from? Kildare. Blessington. Kildare and? Blessington. Blessington, okay. So I'm gonna try a little ex experiment with you, a little psychological experiment. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got an envelope here, and this is an envelope of mystery for now, we'll call it. Uh, pop that in your bag for me, please. I'll get back to that, but it is very important what's inside there. So here's the idea. I'm gonna take you on a little psychological experiment. I want you to imagine right now that you went to bed one night, but you woke up the next day. And when you woke up the next day, you're somewhere strange. And when you look down, you're tied to a chair. Really imagine that now, that you're tied to a chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And now as you look down, as you're tied to the chair, there's rope wrapped around you. And you can see somebody over in the corner and you know that that is a person that you actually know that's been holding you back in life and that they've tied you to this chair. As you look down at the ropes, the ropes are stained. Are they stained red or are they stained black, the ropes? Red. They're stained red, okay? Now the ropes are wrapped around your body and your arms are trapping you to this chair and they're wrapped around your body one to 13 times. How many times is the ropes wrapped around you? How many times are they wrapped around your body? 13. 13, the full 13. Now you could have said one, two, three, but you're saying 13, yes? 13 times wrapped around your body. And then finally you look down the ground and there's a tool there, there's two tools. One is a hammer, which is curved, and the other is a sharp knife, a pointy knife. Do you use the hammer or the knife to get out of these ropes? What are you gonna to use to get out? The knife. The knife, so you take the knife and you just rip those ropes off with the knife, yeah? Mm -hmm. What if I told you this is actually a psychological experiment and that there's a lot more meaning to all of this than you know? Here's why, because when I said to you, about the rope, you could have chosen red or black. Black would have indicated bruising, but red actually indicates a deep wound. In other words, this person over in the corner that you were seeing, that you were witnessing, is somebody who actually at some point in time really held you back and kind of deeply kind of cut into you almost. So that's why you thought of red. And then I said you could have had one to 13 ropes around you, but you went for 13, which is the highest level possible. If it was one, it would mean that you were over this completely, but 13 means you really need to work through it still at this moment in time. And then I would say with the, with the if you chose the hammer, then you would have just pulled it off. But with the knife, you just cut it straight through. So that means you're ready to make this breakthrough right now in your life and really get over this person, whoever he or she is. But more importantly than that, if everything that I said is true, you just formulated a playing card in your mind and you didn't even know about it. Because there's red cards and black cards and you chose the color red when you looked at the ropes. So that would indicate a red card, yes? Yeah. And then you chose, if you chose one, it would be an ace, two would be a two, and then a 10, and then jacks, queens, and kings are a 13. Right? So you chose a king, unbeknownst to yourself. So a red king, and then you look down, and you could have chosen the hammer, which is curved, which would have been a heart, but you didn't. You chose a knife, which would have been, of course, a diamond, because a knife is pointy and the diamond is pointy. So in your mind, unbeknownst to yourself, you formulated the king of diamonds. Would you agree with that? Yes. Yes? Well, inside there, there's an envelope. Take it out for me. <laughs> Don't tell me this. Check this out. And inside this envelope, there is indeed a deck of cards. And the weird thing is, earlier on, I reversed one card in the deck of cards and only one card is reversed. If you hold that for me, I'll go through them really slowly. You could have had any card, you could have formulated any card in your mind, but down here, all the way down here, there's one card reversed. It is the only card reversed. Take it out, turn it over. Jesus. The King of Diamonds. <laughs> Thanks, but here's the more important thing. You didn't tell me who this person is that's been holding you yeah. back. You didn't tell anybody here, did you? No. Okay, I've got something, I'm just gonna whisper it into your ear, okay? Okay. Because I know this is important to you, and, but this is gonna be very specific to you and about this person, okay? <laughs> You're dead right! <laughs> it's exactly it! Yeah? That was it, right? Yeah. High five. Thank you so oh, that's much. Not good. That's that's proper. <laughs> <laughs> Here, use that envelope as a memory of him and rip that shit apart. Rip that shit apart. Rip it up. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. That's him. Get vicious enough. Get rid of him. That's him. Gone forever. 